Get ready to learn some spooky photo tricks. <laughs> oh, we're not doing that? Sorry. Welcome to another episode of My Shot Photo Tips with Hillary. I'm Hillary and I work on My Shot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take some creepy cool photos using shadows in a technique called ghosting. Let's get started. For this photo, we're going to create shadows using paper cutouts to make it look like a bunch of ghoulish hands are reaching out to grab you. For this, you'll need construction paper, a pencil, scissors, some tape, some dowels, and a lamp with the lampshade removed. To make the monster hands, you're going to trace around your own hand on the construction paper. Kind of make it look like your hand's going to grab something. Then add sharp fingernails and knobby knuckles to make it extra spooky. Cut it out. And there you go. I've already created a bunch of these because I want a lot of hands in my photo. See? Make a frame with your dowels and tape the hands to the inside edges. Then place this frame in front of a lamp. This is what it's gonna look like. All right, so I have my frame set up with the hands. I have it propped up with some books on a table. My camera is next to my light source so I don't get the shadow in the shot. I have my camera on a timer and it's about to go off right now. Now this is a seriously spooky shadow shot. Ghosting is a photo technique that uses a slow shutter speed, meaning your camera's shutter is open for a longer period of time to let in more light. With some tricky timing, you can use it to make your subject look see-through, just like a ghost. Woo! For this photo, you'll need your camera and a tripod, and we'll be using your camera's built-in timer. It doesn't have to be super bright where you're going to take your photo, since we're using a slow shutter speed. Set your camera on the tripod and set your timer. We're gonna start with the exposure of about eight seconds, but you have to experiment a little bit depending on your lighting setup. Lie down on the table and lay perfectly still. Then, a little more than halfway through your exposure time, quickly sit up to avoid any blurring. Pretend you're a spirit looking back at their body. Here's the final photo. <laughs> These spooky photos from my shot offer some extra tips. Set your scene. Since you're going for a frightening image, look for spooky surroundings, like a basement, the woods, or long hallways. Pick a location that complements the mood you're going for. Don't be afraid to try black and white. Adding a black and white filter can bring out the drama in your photo and make buildings look much older. For a truly ghostly effect, wear flowy clothing or even drape a sheet over yourself. That way, when you're moving throughout your frame, your ghost will look more haunting. I hope you enjoyed these tips, and I can't wait to see your photos. Yeah! <laughs>